And we are back and live. We had no planning in this. This is going to be Panther Soft News Network. This is going to be week of October 15th. Goodness me, we're already in the middle of the month. Spooktober mm. is... We're still alive! <laughs> so here okay, we go. We're doing it live. Okay, uh, all right. Fudge it, we're doing it live. All right, yeah. we're going to start off with field news. What do we have? All right, guys. Hey, uh, Mac with Field News here. So basically what we got coming into uh, the weekend, if you haven't been experiencing it uh, like myself, it's wet, it's raining, uh, it's getting cold. So make sure you guys are layering up and or bringing changes, spare clothes, yada, yada, all the normal stuff that I kind of ramble on to you guys about and you never do. Uh, change of footwear. That's always good. Guys, dry feet is a happy person. Uh, Mac with wet feet is a really angry person. So you know, speaking from experience, uh, but coming into this weekend, guys, so for October 16th, uh, that Friday previous, the 15th here, it's or tonight, I don't know when this airs, guys, that Friday, it's supposed to have some super heavy rain coming into it, Tack and I are really not excited to work our day jobs, but it's supposed mm -hmm. to kind of rain out over Friday and going into Saturday morning, so keeping our fingers crossed that we're going to have kind of sporadic showers and such for the Saturday, Saturday afternoon, going into Saturday evening big thing full field night games this is the first time coming back guys so hopefully i hope to see you guys out there uh night games will be starting at about five o'clock registration six o'clock game start when panther regular hours close so guys make sure you guys either look and find more information on the asg facebook page or the event page we have shared that and we'll make sure we have a link down in the video description below but other than that that's pretty much what's going on full field if you guys haven't come out to play make sure you guys come a lot of changes a lot of things have disappeared and a lot of things are appearing slowly sorry i do have a day job um but yeah guys things are going on and we're trying to make panther uh, better and hope to see you guys out there we are going into the week or the winter sorry so uh making sure again that you guys are prepped and ready to play because there is a different style of play when it comes to airsoft there <coughs> you guys need more batteries guys and that's hashtag, Matt with field news hashtag Make Panther great again. Make that a thing, guys. Mega? Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why'd you do it? You just opened it. That's a hornet's nest right there. Dude. All right. And let's jump into some Airsoft news. Tack? Airsoft, Airsoft news. news. Airsoft news. I'm sure there's a lot. Yeah. There's Airsoft not a lot. News here. All right, guys. That's been Airsoft news. No, nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that to you guys. Oh, my God. Nothing. There All right. Speed nothing. round. Let's go. Yeah, so uh, for anyone who's interested, actually, Triggers just came uh, in stock with the new Ace Tech uh, Raider and Predator Mark III Tracer units. So for all you guys who are starting to get into the uh, night games, grab yourself a Tracer unit. You know, those just came in. Uh, as well as for anyone who wants to make their thing a little flashy flashy, you know, everyone's starting to get into all the uh, muzzle flash uh, Tracer devices. These are one of those ones. So uh, get on it. Mm -hmm. uh, next. Um, I don't know about you guys. This is a little bit of old news, but uh, anyone remember the uh, time BFC uh, showcased a uh, Carl G? I do. To shreds, you say? Wait, I'm still waiting. To shreds, you say? Carl, Carl Gustav airsoft. Yeah, yeah. What, what are, what are they launch, airsoft gun. What are they launching? Uh, I think I think it was either a shower grenade or a. Possibly taking them around <laughs> or nerf. No, cancer. extremely large I, BBs. I don't know if you guys follow up with the, or not follow, uh, watch um, like uh, Milson West, but Task Force Mayhem had a called G in one what? of their events. And they, they were launching. Like a... they, were want, they, were, they were launching pyrotechnics. So there you go. Good Was stuff. it like a spent car? Super G jelly. Like Anyways, you... guys, moving Seems on. Uh, Hate to bring in this news, but it's uh, some sad news. An airsoft field in a uh, Calgary called Battlefield Live is unfortunately closing down permanently after being operational operational for 20 years. Uh, unfortunately, that's uh, that's a sad thing. I uh, really hate yeah. to see something like that happen to the uh, airsoft community in, as a whole, but uh, as well as uh, Calgary in general. Um, mm. So, hey guys, sorry to hit you off with that. <clears throat> Last one there, but uh, that's been TAC with Airsoft News. All right. And that is it for our week of October 15th. Again, middle of the week. Weather's changing. Lots of Airsoft News. And 
Um, there's no podcast this week. Um, it was a holiday on Monday. Uh, hopefully everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did. I'm still full from it. I just get wider every time, you know. Um, <laughs> other than that, that is it for this week's Airsoft News. This is Poi. That is Tack. And that is Mac down there. I got that right on the first try. (laughs) All right. And that is it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Take it easy. Bye.